on, viewers? Show the gamer here. And today, I want to give you my first impressions modern. This is part of my first impressions modern series, meaning that it'll be a first impressions on, you know, games that have just been released um, current year. And the first game I want to talk to you today about is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. And what do I think about The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt? My first impressions. Well, I think it's awesome. I am very satisfied with this game so far. Probably got about, I don't know, 10 hours into it. And it is truly amazing. It offers a level of technology and graphics, you could say, that I haven't really seen, especially in a game this size. Um, basically, this game is like Skyrim on steroids. There are things about Skyrim that make it unique and awesome that this game doesn't have, but that is fine. But I would say it does compete with Skyrim. I haven't finished it, so I can't really say that it does. I am truly satisfied with it. I think it is an amazing game, and I think you should go out and get it if you're into these type of games. If you love Skyrim, you're gonna love this game. And some of you might not have played Witcher 1 and 2. I didn't either, and it's great. I don't, you know, it's like you can, sure, there's things that you're not gonna understand, but it really doesn't ruin it. I, I'm, my, me both, me and my brother are playing through this, and, we enjoy it, we think it's awesome, and it's definitely going to be one of the games of the year for sure. And I am going to try to play as much as I can of this game, and I would like to do an ultimate review on this game for sure, but I don't know when I will be able to do that. Um, it is a long game, they're promising you 200 hours of gameplay, and I want to experience it. If that, and I don't know if that's just story, I've been hearing it's just story, main story is 200 hours, that's crazy. But if that's with all the extras and everything, well then I'd like to get pretty close to that 200 hours. In fact, what just came in the mail today is the hardcover collector's edition strategy guide that I had purchased uh, from Amazon. So I'm definitely going to use this and explore as much as I can through this game and, you know, make uh, an ultimate review on it. And hopefully you guys enjoy that. But I don't know when I'm going to be able to put it out. Um, with me and my schedule and you know 40, working 40 plus hours, you know it could be two months from now. But anyways, uh, let me uh, know some of your first impressions on The Witcher 3 if you've gotten it, um, or you know if you're someone who's not sure of getting it, get it. I mean, if you've played Skyrim, I mean, if you, yeah, if you played Skyrim, or if you played Gothic 2, or any of the Elder Scrolls, you're going to love this. Game. It's really, it's really great. You're going to see things that you haven't seen in most games as far as graphically with the weather and the wind and everything and the trees moving around and that sort of thing. It's <clears throat> The developers did a really good job on this game and I haven't really seen any bugs in this. and on the PS4 there's very little slowdown as far as I'm, I haven't really run into any, you know, too many dips or anything so it's been a really good experience and um, so let me hear somebody if you guys experience this game or if you're you know not sure about getting it you know let me know if you got it like hey shred i watched your impressions video and i went and bought it and blah blah, blah. You know, let me know all that stuff i it doesn't matter so please uh, <clears throat> like the video if you enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe and uh anyways guys this is shred the gamer <clears throat> and until next time I will stretch you later. If you made it this far, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch my video. But if you're not sure if you want to subscribe, maybe you can check out some of these videos that might help you make that decision. Here's a video of me, how I talk about how I got into turn-based RPGs. Or if you're not into that sort of thing, check out this review that I did on Bloodborne. If you end up subscribing to my channel, please like me on Facebook, and as always, I will shred you later.